Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with another ranking video and this time is it, it is Blush Tribe. I was thinking about which brands do I have a lot of palettes from and it's only like Blush Tribe and Yves Place and I have already done Yves Place and this was a little bit harder for me because I really don't know which palettes I like the most but I think I have decided. So I have six palettes from Blush Tribe. I got some limited editions. I think maybe three of them is limited edition or two. I don't really know. But I'm going to take them in because this is the palettes I have from Blush Tribe. So I will do as I did in my Yves Place ranking. I will start with the bottom and we end it with the best one there is. And I was like, I haven't... In this makeup, I only have one shade from the Blush Tribe, from the Blush Tribe, from Blush Tribe, and I was like, I can't do this video without putting on my makeup with Blush Tribe, and then I was like, of course I can. I get stuff like that in my mind. It's like, okay, if I'm going to talk about the brand, I must have done my makeup with the brand. I don't know why I am like that. I am I'm just like that, but I have not used blush tribe only on my eyes I hope that it's okay with you I don't know why it would not be but okay just my stupid brain so okay we just get started and the palette I like the least from blush tribe if you saw my latest tag video it must have been you know which palette this is going to be and it is the blossom palette this was one of the first palettes I really 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 wanted from blush tribe it's the first one I Bought. I don't know, I think I bought this one and Hasina too at the same time. This is a rainbow palette. I don't like this. I think this was one of my first rainbow palettes and then I really really liked it but now it's it's not that good. Some of the shades are super good, super good, but some of them are like meh. So I wouldn't recommend this. I don't even know if this is still available or not. I have no idea. I think this was one of their first also. And if you missed out on this, you didn't miss that much because it's not that good. On place number five, I have the Munasa palette. And it's nothing wrong with pigmentation in this. I haven't played with all the colors. I play with some. It's nothing wrong with them. It is a good yellow, it is good shimmers, but the one thing I have such a hard time with this palette is the background. It's like when I open this and look at shades, I can't concentrate on the shades, so I don't pick it up. And I also, it feels a little bit messy. I don't know if it is because of the background and the names are in black writing and it's just hard to look at, it's hard to hold up youtube wise and it's just it's hard to see the colors names and yeah and then it's like i'm not as picky with how a palette is laid out i i can get with most palettes it's not a problem for me but the one thing that bugging me it's the gold background and then it's like it's too blue here and this is kind of blue and this is kind of blue i wanted that they them in the same row when the background is like this is if it would have been like a white background i think this messy part is more it's easier to look at but when you have this gold shiny background and the colors are all rambled up it's so hard to look at but it is a good palette but i never use it because i like get stressed when i look at it Maybe I sound like a crazy person, I don't know. But that's my feelings about the palette. And place number four. And it was now it was getting hard because I like these four palettes. It was just a fact of which one do I like the most. But in place number four it is the Hasina palette. This palette is so good. I have done three looks one palette. I can leave it up here. It looks like this. This is also a rainbow palette, I would call it, and this is so much better. And this contains shimmers and mattes. 
and this is so easy to look at it's white background it's divided in rows so this is the pink and purple and this is the green and blue and this is the red and orange and brownish really good layout on this palette i really love it and the colors are amazing i think the all the colors in this palette keeps has the same standards i like it the only thing i'm missing in this is a matte yellow but this gold is amazing and this orange is amazing and also this red so i really really love this palette but it's it didn't get any higher than this but as i said it was so hard with this four that i had left but this is a really really good palette i actually don't know if they still have this one I hope because this is so good. In place number three it is also a limited edition palette but I think that this will come back in autumn. They have talked about it before and it's the Four Fusion palette. This is so big and it looks... this is like so big. It's only 12 shades but I really like this palette. I like... okay I don't know how to hold this. I like this row the most and this shade. They are really really good. I like this yellow. I know a lot of people don't but I really like it. And this blue, it's so amazing. I don't use this so much on my channel because it is a limited edition. But I really really like it. I am so glad that I decided to buy it. And if this is coming back in stock in the fall, you should buy it because it is so good. And then we have two palettes left and this was so hard to decide which palette I like the most from Blush Try, but I mm, think I have decided. So runner up is the Hasina 2 palette, and this it's coming free looks one palette. I just have to have the time to film it. I have done some other videos on this. I have used this with other palettes. It looks like this. This is just for me that don't like green and purple that much or okay I like green now but I don't like purple that much I still love this palette and this is like a really really good thing to say about a palette looking like this for me I don't know why do I talk so strange today I'm sorry I don't get to the point instead of talking like this I'm talking like this sorry but this is such a good palette I really love this reshade, it's one of the best shades out there and the greens are super good and the black is so good. So this is my runner up, I really really like this, I can absolutely recommend this, so so good. And the best palette I think Blush Tribe ever has released is the Paulina palette, I love this palette so much. This is back in stock now I think or it's maybe sold out again. But they took it back. This was a limited edition and I have followed Paulina for I don't know how long. Shit tons of years. I have followed her since she talked Swedish and yeah like forever I have followed her and I really love and adore her. And I don't only love the palette for that, because this palette is amazing. So, the palette looks like this, I maybe should show it to you. I really like all the colors in this. I love this French shade, and these two other greens, they are so good. And I think Paulina and Salma did a great, great job on this palette. I think this palette is so unique. I have played with this a lot and I still want to play with it and I love that it's back in stock so you that missed it can buy it. I was like am I going to buy one more but I am never going to pan this palette. I know that so I didn't buy one more but if you missed it first time and if it's still available buy it because it is an amazing palette. I really 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 love this palette. I am so glad that I have it. And this is such a unique palette in my collection and that's why it's coming on the top. So yeah, that was my ranking with my blush tray palettes. I think it's fun to do these videos and I hope you like to watch them. It feels like I can give you some tips on which palettes I think are good and think are bad or 
maybe what you want from badass and now I don't know if I have any more brands to do this with maybe I can do it with Colourpop do I, I have pretty many palettes from Colourpop I got like six, seven palettes from Colourpop, so I could do a ranking with my Colourpop palettes. But then I think it's like, I know more because I don't have that many palettes from other brands. But I really hope you liked this video. And how do you rank your blush tray palettes? Or do you only have one blush tray palette? Which is your favorite blush tray palettes? Or which blush tray palettes do you like the least? Blush Tribe is now releasing so many palettes and I I am not that intrigued by Blush Tribe anymore that I was before. Maybe it is a little bit of my low buy. Maybe it is because that neon palette, I really really wanted that but it was not that good. And maybe I lost my interest a little bit in Blush Tribe, I don't know. But I think it is a good brand, they are cruelty free and it is a one woman brand. I am so impressed by that. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. I really hope you like this and do you want me to do a ranking of my Colourpop palettes? It will take a little while though because I need to use some of the palettes a little bit more before I can say what I think about them. So that can come and then it will be finished with the rankings. But I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!